In the previous video, we have discussed the theory behind the chess mazes and the way we are going to utilize them into our procedural generation algorithm. Now it's time to write some code. In the description of this video, there is a link to a GitHub repository with project files, which mainly are the 3D models that we will be using, as well as C -sharp scripts that you can use if you have any issue with the code that you have written. Let's create a new project in Unity and import our assets from the GitHub repository into our project. First, we will take care of creating the code responsible for storing information about our map. We will start off with a cell class that will store all the information of our cell of the grid. So your project should look something like this, where we have our models for road and models for tower. So models for road actually contains uh, models for map and models for tower represents the one tower that will be placed as the endpoint on our map. And we have a font that we'll be using a little bit later. So what we want to do first is create a script folder and create a script called cell. Let's create a new C -sharp script. Let's call it cell. Let's open it up in a code editor. I have this pre-made template for my classes, but basically what you need to do is to delete all the methods, so start and update from your script. I'm going to keep my code in a namespace, Sunny Valley Studio Chess Maze, but you don't need to do it. Now we will have a cell class, which will not derive from mono behavior, it will be just a C -sharp class. Let's create some fields. We will need private int x and z values to store the position for our cell. Next, we will implement private bool is taken and next we will have something called cell object type so let's create a new public enum cell object type do remember to create it outside of your class definition for the cell class and this will be an enum that will describe what is inside our cell so we will have empty we will have road, we will have obstacle, we will have start position, and we will have exit position. Okay, so now let's get back to cell class, and here we can create private of type cell object type, and it will be called object type. Great. Now we will create some getters for it, so left click on the X, for example, quick actions, and we want to use encapsulate field, but still use field. We can do it like this. And for Z the same, make sure to create, click on Z. And we do not want to have setters, so let's delete this. So every class that has access to cell will be able to access those two positions, but not to set them. We also need to do the same for is taken. Let's uh, encapsulate this field. And we can see that we can set or get this field. And that's good, because we might want to set this field through the uh, grid class that we will implement shortly. And last thing, we need to get the object type. So let's do the same thing, encapsulate field, and we will be able to get this object and set this object. Next, we need a constructor. So let's type ctor and tab tab twice. It should create you a constructor. We will take int x and int z positions. And inside this we will set our this x equals x, this z equals z, and we will keep uh, get the object type. So this object type we will set it to cell type empty, and we will set is taken to false, as upon initialization every tile will be walkable and will not be an obstacle therefore. And that's it, that's the whole cell class, and we will use it to store data about our cells from our grid. In the next video, we will create our grid class to store our cells.